Hey, hang on. Where's my seat gone? Looks like we're going to have to build one. In this video we're going to assemble the driver seat sub-assembly as shown on page 18 of the build manual. You're going to need your spanners and allen keys to do up all the nuts and bolts for this build. Nothing more for me to say, so over to Steve. Time for something we've done before, but in this case it's the driver's seat, which is made up of the base, a joiner, the seat back and two sides, along with lots of nuts and bolts and washers. Don't forget the washers. So I'm going to start by taking my seat back and attaching the joiner. The joiner is symmetrical, so it doesn't matter which way, which part you attach to the back first. And all of the bolts need to go through from the driver's side of the seat to the outside so that the driver is not sitting on the end of the bolt. Um, I've already put washers on all of my bolts just to save me a little bit of time here. But of course, once I've put a bolt through the piece, I've got to put another washer on and a nut. And again, as we've done before, finger tight for the, to start with. I'm going to put one in at the other end because then that keeps the parts aligned and now I can start working through the rest of these. So that's our joiner to the back piece and then we bring up our seat base and repeat that same process. So now we have three pieces of our seat sorted and what we need now is the right hand side piece and as I said at the beginning this goes on with the hole for the lap strap alongside the base and with these raised bits on these holes to the outside of the seat so again not rubbing against the driver. So that's that side all attached. We turn it over and repeat on the other side. So there we go, we have our fully assembled seat and it's now down to the tools to actually tighten up all of these nuts and bolts. While I finish off tidying up these nuts and bolts, tightening up them, let's go over to Gav and see if he can explain why we have nylock nuts. Just in case you weren't sure, a nylock nut looks like this, with a plastic insert made of nylon that grips and locks onto the thread of the bolt. Hence, nylock. Clever name. These are used in situations where it's really important that the joint does not come loose. You wouldn't want to be driving along in your car and all of a sudden the seat falls apart. That'd be terrible. But why would the seat fall apart in the first place? Why do joints come loose? Well, the answer is because of vibrations. The next time you're in a car, place your hand up against the window and you'll be able to feel all of the vibrations running through the vehicle as it travels along the road. These vibrations shake the components and loosen the joint over time. Here's a test from Nordlock that perfectly shows what I'm on about. A joint using a plain nut is exposed to strong vibrations and you can see how quickly the load on the nut drops as it shakes itself loose. When we compare this to a nylock nut, you can see how it's able to resist the vibrations and hold the load for a longer period of time. This is all because of the nylon gripping onto the thread. To improve the performance of a plain nut, we could use adhesives such as Threadlock. And we've actually recommended you use this when installing the brake disc on the rear axle. It acts in a similar way to nylock bolts, locking onto the thread. So, to conclude, when trying to make a strong joint, the enemy is vibration! Okay, anyway, let's see where Steve's got to tightening up all of the nuts and bolts. Uh, 
So there we go, a nice rigid seat ready for a racing driver. And that's the end of this video. If you need any further assistance with the Green Power Project, please always feel free to email or call the office. We also have some brilliant community groups where teams share their experiences and expertise with each other. It's a wonderful place for collaboration, so don't miss out. All of the information you need is in the description down below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and maybe even a subscribe. Pretty please? Still, plenty of building left to be done, so I'll catch you on the next one.